Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're here. See, Squeaks has a problem. <laughs> he doesn't know how he wants to spend the afternoon. I, I mean, there are so many great choices. He could play outside or have a yummy and healthy snack or draw or read a book. He just can't decide. <laughs> and well, he needs some help choosing because he really wants to get out there and enjoy his afternoon. I agree, Squeaks, this is a problem, but no worries. I know how to think like an engineer. Ah, yes, the people who drive trains are called engineers, but there are other kinds of engineers too. These kinds of engineers identify problems and then figure out ways to solve them. What kind of problems? Well, almost any kind. The sky's the limit. Actually, for some engineers, the sky is a good place to start. What kind of problems could we solve that have to do with flying in the sky or in space? Maybe we could try to make airplanes that are safer for people or rockets that go faster. Engineers called aerospace engineers tackle problems that have to do with flight, like how to make planes fly more quietly. And every person who has been to outer space has had help from an aerospace engineer. I agree, that sounds like a fun job. Other engineers work to solve problems here on the ground. Remember that really cool bridge we saw when we went to see the Redwoods? That was thanks to the work of civil engineers. These engineers solve problems like how to get across a river or through a tall mountain. That means they design tunnels, bridges, and buildings of all kinds, including super tall skyscrapers. Another example? Sure. How do you think this video gets to the people at home? It's possible because of people that solve computer-related problems. Computer and software engineers write programs, which are directions computers follow as they do things like play videos. Those are the engineers who made it possible for Squeaks and I to be able to talk to you through the internet. And these are only a few things that engineers do. Environmental engineers solve problems related to the environment, like how to have cleaner water and air. Electrical engineers make sure we have electricity to keep the lights on in our houses and cities and design parts that make our cool electrical toys and gadgets run. I could really go on and on, but I won't because I think it's time to solve your problem about what to do this afternoon. Do you want to try thinking like an engineer? Great, let's get to it. Now, engineers don't just guess at the answers to problems. They approach them with a sort of plan a couple of basic steps to guide them. The first is to define the problem. When we define a problem, we do more than just say something's not going right. We need to say exactly what it is that we want to solve. Squeaks doesn't know how to choose an activity this afternoon. Right, Squeaks? The next step is to come up with ways to solve the problem or solutions. Because there's usually more than one solution to a problem, engineers try to come up with many different ideas. Squeaks and I are each going to come up with a different solution and compare our ideas to see if one might work better than the other. I'm going to draw my solution on a piece of paper to make it easier to share my idea with Squeaks. Okay. Here's my idea. We could have a different color bead stand for each choice, then put them into a cup, close our eyes, and pick one. What's your solution? I like that one. Squeak says that we could make a spinner like the ones used in some games. This is a great solution. It will solve the problem and we have all of the things we need to make one here in the fort. Let's start by planning our solution. We'll draw a circle on a piece of paper, use scissors to cut it out, and divide it into four equal parts. We'll write one activity choice in each part. Finally, we'll attach a paper clip to the center using a paper fastener and spin away. Our spinner is done. Our choices are play outside, have a snack, draw, or read a book. Let's give it a spin. Look, our spinner landed on have a snack. Now you have a plan for the afternoon, Squeaks. Uh-oh, it looks like it's time for us to meet Jesse to do some bird watching. We spent the entire afternoon learning about engineering instead of any of your original choices. But that's okay. We had a lot of fun doing it. I think we should show Jesse our spinner. Thanks for joining us here at the fort. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks, me, and all our other friends, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time on SciShow Kids.